Let's build some leather templates in Fusion 360, because why not? Okay, so this is going to be a quick video on making some more leatherworking templates. Uh, I've decided to make three super simple ones you can design and make and it quickly, and you could also sell these on Etsy or eBay, whatever you would uh, like to do, of course, but these are real easy projects to make, and people do make money uh, selling these. The first one is a keychain, the second one is a catch-all tray which is something you can say throw your keys your wallet in or whatever when you get home from work those are super popular in woodworking and leatherworking but uh, again just a simple design these designs are not complicated whatsoever it's just showing a leather worker or maybe even a woodworker uh, how you can use fusion 360 to design uh, some more stuff and a big difference in what I used Fusion 364 for leatherworking as opposed to woodworking is one of them is the pattern on path tool instead of a pattern on rectangle. I, you'll see me use a pattern on path after I have extruded the object. And also these templates have to be uh, printed with a scale of one to one simply because uh, you need to actually take these templates and print them and use them when you're cutting the leather. So you have to make sure the scale is right. Unlike woodworking, you can just look at these blueprints and make the uh, project based on all of the dimensions. So anyway, that's what you're seeing here. The first one is again the keychain, then I'll go into the tray. And lastly, it is a kind of a coin pouch or a pouch that you would uh, maybe see at a Renaissance festival. Uh, kind of a pull string pouch. Hope you enjoy. So again, here's the pattern on path I was referring to earlier. And I, I always do it based on the spacing as you see below. And at the very end, if it's not perfect, I will switch it over to extent and this will allow you to drag it to where you want it.
There's not a lot of selection for leather when it comes to the appearance, uh, but there's enough, and I believe you can uh, import more if needed. I need to look into that one day, but uh, for now it's pretty sufficient to give you that leather look. But anyway, this is simply a keychain. That middle part there is where the ring would go for your keys, and you would simply fold this over and sew it together. Again, this would be a template. You would just use the holes there to mark where you're going to be sewing. This would be a hand stitch. I would not use a sewing machine, a leather sewing machine, that is, for this particular item. It's just such a small good. Uh, that goes for all of these. These are all fairly small. These would all be hand stitch kind of items. Uh, the next one is simply uh, going to be the tray uh, I was referring to that you could just drop your keys in. Again, a very simple pattern. I'm just trying to show you a few things on Fusion 360. And all you're going to do here is uh, uh, just tap in some holes, two in each corner, to where you can uh, hand stitch some leather through uh, leather strings that is and fold up the corners to where you have a uh, mold which by the way you would want to use a uh, thicker leather for something like this like um, maybe a veg tan if you wanted to stain it I guess um, as well something a little stiffer so that you could maybe wet mold this into the position uh, to hold stuff like keys your wallet and whatnot but anyway using some of the functions here for the corners, and I will add in the holes that you'll punch later for, um, for this particular tray.
Okay, you're probably wondering what this is. It's because I deleted the first video of this last one here. I'm not really sure why, but the blue circle that you're seeing is simply a 10 inch circle that I will also extrude and it's going to be for the pouch itself. And this particular leather would be like a thin, um, more like a purse leather is what I would call it to where whenever this larger piece you see on top, which will be like a veg tan, something that you could um, uh, punch or just put any kind of design you want on it, this would be the bottom of the pouch you're looking at. And these two holes here would be something that you would rivet through uh, so that you could put in some pull strings there as well. Now, this it's kind of hard to tell what this is. I guess I could take this into Fusion 360 and maybe animate it if I wanted to, to show a customer. But essentially what this is, is a coin pouch that you would see like at a Renaissance festival. So you would have these holes around the circle that would be uh, threaded with a, uh, like a leather pull string. And when you pull the string together, it would close the pouch up. And this piece on the bottom is just something to give it a little bit more uh, support. And also when it's completely drawn in, um, you will see this piece on top as the main kind of decorative part of it. In other words, you'll see just a big piece of leather folded up, which is this right here. And the pouch would be essentially closed behind it to hold stuff in. And I, I have one of these I've made before for someone, and I think I have some photos that I may put on this video if I can find those pictures. But anyway, that's what this is. Uh, but again, the main reason for this video is to show uh, leather workers how they can use Fusion 360 to create leather patterns. Now, the biggest thing on leather, I will say again, is that you have to, when you go to the drawing portion of Fusion 360, which I may do another video on, you have to uh, use the biggest piece of paper allowed on Fusion 360, which is pretty large. I want to say it's like a poster board or something. The reason for that is because each one of these pieces of leather need to be scaled one to one because unlike woodworking, you'll be using these templates uh, printed out on probably eight and a half by 11 sheets uh, and attached to your leather on the underside to draw in your sketch to where you'll be cutting the leather. So it's important to be able to print these uh, one to one scale. And you are allowed to do that in Fusion 360 and combine them into one PDF and give someone that PDF to use to build these leather projects. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.